Welcome all to a game called Boss Crushers. This is by a developer called Space Horse. It's a kind of a, a, a little bit like uh, Enter the Gungeon, if you've ever played that. Uh, it's got three difficulties, which I'm just going to do the uh, easiest one because I'm not very good at these type of games. You start off with, um, I think it's one or two different uh, classes, and then you can unlock more as you go. I'll start with this one because it's kind of the one I like to use. Uh, you'll start off in here. Little start place. The sound's uh, gone a little bit low. Let's uh, turn it up a smidge. And that, that bobbin's quite annoying when you talk to these. So it's just WS and D to move. You've got a couple of abilities down here. So your, your first ability is just one you can spam, spam and spam. If you just hold your left mouse button, and you can just move around and point this, uh, point your mouse wherever you want to go, and that does that. Your other abilities are, again, varied. You can change these, and you use your right mouse button to use them. You've got each character has a dash ability on space, so he just kind of moves a little bit, so you can kind of avoid uh, uh, tacks and whatnot. And then your big ability is on Q. Again, this varies from uh, class to class. Uh, if you press F and talk to this guy here, you've got uh, different things to unlock here. So you get tokens as you progress through, and you can spend them on uh, different uh, things to unlock here. Again, I don't really know much about those ones. you got your talents, so as you level up, just by completing dungeons and stuff like that, you'll get talent points where you can unlock different uh, classes and different, um, well, traits and stuff to make you do more damage and stuff. It's The game is meant to be played with friends, but uh, I have none online. <laughs> And uh, you can kind of, I think you can join a guild and stuff, but until someone I know comes online, I can't really uh, go into that too much. Uh, Atlas just gives you information on different uh, monsters and bosses as you progress through. So to start, you just move down, press F. This opens up three portals. Now, when you level up, your actual level levels up so uh, when you've quit the game at the end of a day and stuff like that everything kind of resets a little bit apart from your level and your talents they will always be there so although you can get uh, different abilities and stuff as you're playing once you quit that session these are all reset back to normal i believe you've also got one to six here, which can be potions and scrolls and stuff like that, which give you uh, extra abilities or extra power and just just stuff like that to make your character a bit better. Health potions and, st and stuff like that. There's a dude up here you can uh, buy them from. So, and your gold kind of resets as well when you leave. So you got flask of life and all that kind of juicy stuff. So we'll go into a dungeon see what it's like. Again, I'm quite, uh, well, I wouldn't say high level, but uh, I've leveled up a bit, so these dungeons will be relatively simple and easy for me. Well, my character, but then again, I'm pretty bad at this. So, like Enter the Gungeon, when you come in, you can bring up your map using Tab, and in each room you've got to clear before you can move on to the next ones. So this room, I would always recommend hanging around some kind of pillar to avoid the fireballs and stuff. So unlike End of the Gungeon, your dash ability, if you dash through fireballs and stuff, does not avoid them. So let's see, let's see if we do it. There. We kind of get hit. We do get hit. So you kind of just want to avoid it. These little balls drop here and it gives you some health back. you got keys and stuff to unlock chests. You get gold from the chests. You've got these, uh, not in every room. Well, actually not in most rooms. Like Enter the Gungeon again. It's like a teleporter. So you could just click on it through the map and it would port you back here. So I'll show you that in a minute. Once we clear a few more rooms. Again, you can just keep this pressed. 
your uh, left mouse button and it just continually spams. Using that, puts a pile of poo on the floor. Obviously this will be different from each class or so if you've changed it yourself. The, uh, what's it called? Swamp, is it kind of slows them so that's all that ability does. You can get a, 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 a frost rain type of thing as well which kind of AOE slow and stun ability I believe but you never know which one you're going to get so they can be different all the time every time you come in can be something different it's a lot easier than enter the gungeon but then again I really suck at enter the gungeon so <laughs> it doesn't really affect uh, my opinion too much there At the end of each um, place, you get a boss room. But it's probably worth uh, going around picking all of these up first. So here we've got Guardian figurines. Summon strong enemies, defeat them, and receive healing to healing runes. So if you're low on health, you can do that. And then this scroll is unidentified. The effect produced by the scroll is unknown. Used to identify. So you also get... Um, extra little traits so what's this one launch of fire that could be nice we've got frost nova freeze enemies for three seconds small radius and shadow step we've got shadow step but no we've got dash withdraw to the shadows for one second no one can see you when you are in the shadows so I'm going to take the fiery fan and see what that is so if you want to bring up your abilities you press C and every now and again you get uh, a choice of some traits if you've leveled up or whatever. So we'll take the HP because that's so Press C again. And now you can scroll down and you can drag and drop onto there. So now we've got fun fight. Was it fiery fan instead of that uh, swamp crap? Because I don't think that was any good. <laughs> it's probably fine, but uh, I take get hit too much and stuff so I don't really know so if you wanted to um, get down the bottom quickly which we will you just click on the uh, portal and it takes us down here because there's more rooms to explore this way than there was that way so again let's try out our new ability uh, that's a bit shit but whatever Cool. So uh, these chests use keys, and I don't know how many keys you get. Is there anything down here? My character starts, shadows. So pressing Q would uh, bring one of them up. At the end of each dungeon or so, you come up against, uh, you get the boss room. I haven't seen it yet, it's like got skulls and stuff on. Actually, I quite like that fire thing. <laughs> and I'd say it's been quite a lot of fun playing with other people it does cost around I think it's $15 or £11.39 British money well UK pounds probably best to save most of your mana for the boss if you can so just uh, plod away at these with just normal attacks is this the boss room? no it's not the boss room let's have a look up here so to drag it down just uh, hold the left mouse button and just drag the map it shows you where to go up a bit better I first played this, um, right, we don't want to use that, in case we take some damage. I first played this when it, uh, right, just before it came out. I uh, got it for free to try out, see what it was like. It uh, was fairly buggy, so that's why it's taken us this long to get round to it. 
because it seems to be playing quite nice now. This is a good, good little fun game. Not sure what the end game is like of it. So, if it's really bad at or no end game, don't uh, <laughs> don't quote me saying it was great then. But it's uh, it is got a little bit of fun. Enjoy it. Even though I'm terrible at it. Um, let's go back down here. But yeah, if, if you like End of the Gungeon, but you're not very good at it, like myself, then I think this might be the kind of game for you. So it's uh, it's easier, simpler. I do want to get a boss fight, because they're a, a little bit harder. Do you have any keys? No, we've got no keys. That was a massively long dungeon. Oops, go away. Alright, are we... Not quite done. It's got to be soon. There we go. So this big door here is the boss fight. Once you kind of go in here, I don't know if you can um, go back into the dungeon afterwards or whether you have to leave. So each boss, again, is random and do different abilities. Some are easier, some are uh, quite hard. It's best to just spam as much as you can. And avoid whatever you can as well. Just like the rest of the dungeon. I mean, this this dude's going down quite quickly now because i am uh, got quite a high level. Well, for this part at least, anyway. Oops. This doesn't stop me from sucking still, though. No. At the end of this, you get a portal... It gives you a rating on how well or bad you did against killing them. A little bit laggy still. You get uh, some extra things. So summon strong enemies. So you can you can do a bit more of this. So you can go back through the dungeon see if there was anything else you missed. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to continue on. And go to the next dungeon. I think you get three and eight so I'd imagine if you complete these three then you might get something else and level up or level up a little bit better let's press C see what we get we get we've got a few more traits so let's grab uh, applies buff 10 spell power for 30 seconds after it. no let's do 20 resist and again Look at all this. I don't like the this. If you see the background, it's it's like bobbing up and down. It would be nice if that stayed stationary because it's it's very distracting and very annoying. Let's see if we've got any ability points that we can use. It's talents. Nope, no points. How about some of these? Have we got ten? We can unlock Ring of Gravity. Don't know what it is. Reduces the speed of your main ability, but increases the damage that it deals. Okay, cool. Yeah, and we could do Tome of Petrification. Opens the ability Petrification. Yeah, I, I don't know what they are. They must be just like later on you get to pick some of them up. So we'll do uh, another one of these. See if I can get myself killed. Right, so I had a little bit of weirdness with my recording software, but it uh, doesn't seem to be showing it as recording, but it is. So, uh, what are we doing? Right, new dungeon. So again, we'll just uh, plod away, killing these. Kind of a little bit laggy. It hasn't been like this so far, actually. It's, it's not been too bad. Maybe it's... Windows updating or something that hasn't that's happened before where it's just causing so many problems. So these big piles of 
care what he ate, you should probably just kill him as quickly as possible so that you stop spawning these things. Is that it? Yeah. So each room is either like boss battle or whatever else. Uh, chest or port, well, portal afterwards. You can sometimes get vendors as well. You can spend your gold on stuff. Oops, that was a total waste. So he's become immune, but I think they just kind of kill themselves afterwards. Sometimes you get a chest after each uh, room as well. Sometimes you don't. Yeah, give me strength. <laughs> Try to take that out quickly. That fireball is absolutely awesome. Uh, anyways, up there? No, let's go back down here then. Yeah, awesome. You don't have any keys, that's fine. I mean, we could have bought some keys from the. Um, Uh, the dude at the uh, the portal room. But again, I'm not the greatest, and I don't really want to waste gold whilst I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a little bit laggy there. I'm not going to blame the game for that because it has been all right that most of the uh, time I've been playing it. So I'm going to assume that it's something to do with Windows. Messing stuff up. Okay, in these rooms, it's kind of best to try and hang around the middle a little bit. So you can avoid some of the uh, shots as well. Oh crap. Ooh. Die, little bath thing, die. Oh shit. Oh, I want to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a total waste. No, oh, shoot. Again, it's a, it's a mew and it kind of... Yeah, don't, don't do that. That's like stupidity. Well, if you can position yourself, you can kind of shoot, but not be hit by their uh, shots as well, which is always nice. Alright, whereabouts are we now? Right, we only go this way, kind of. Oh, there we go, there's a vendor. So, they do... Everything's kind of different, so un unidentified summons enemies, increase stack speed for f uh, attack speed for five battles, uh, shoot two projectiles instead of one, though each deals half of the damage. Ooh, that might be nice. So the merchant offers another list of items, so again, you can. Let's, let's grab that one. So once you've got it, you just click on it or press number three and. Oh yeah. So again, once you've actually uh, logged out and stuff of the game, then this or died, all of this goes. So it's kind of you, you start again. Oh shit! 
try not to get hit. Don't know if that hit me there. Probably just did. Let's get a Yeah, give me strength. That's how bad I am at this game. <laughs> I mainly just got this for the the boss fight that comes up because the boss moves around quite a bit, so it can be tricky to hit. So if we've got two shooting it, then we got more. I got more chance of hitting. So there's the boss room. We could go in here to try and get some health or something, but never mind. Let's just uh, what have we got? That's still healing and stuff like that. See if we get a different boss this time. There's a bunch of different ones. Uh, I think this guy does some kind of swirly crap we've got to avoid. Oh, he's that. He's that dude. Okay, he's got shoots these things all hour. I think he uh, shoots a big one that you can barely avoid. Just this one. <laughs> hey, I'm like pro. <laughs> Not shit. It's better than walking into one. And if you're using this too, it's probably best to uh, get your copies out as soon as you can to try and help kill it. Shit. Oh wow. I'm, I'm just getting butt kicked. Oh shit, that was the wrong way. Come on, man. Uh, no, 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 no. Shit, shit, shit. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Right. So once you're defeated, <coughs> I'm meant to do this just to show you. Yeah, you still level up, so whatever progress you make is never is never taken away. You're always progressing even if you suck like me. And uh, so when you've been killed, you come back in, if you check your character screen, it's all gone. All your perks, all your spells, everything's gone. Even your gold, I believe. The only thing that stays is kind of your points and other things that you've uh, taken. So crit chance or healing. And then they stay. So they'll always be there. It's just your items, your... All of this stuff and your spells, they all reset. But your level stays the same, so you'll do better stuff. And that is Boss Crushers. If you'd like to see me fail some more at this, please drop a comment below or give it a like or something, and I'll try and get better. <laughs> but that's probably not going to happen. So thanks for watching. I might see you in the next one.